everybody, today we're going to talk about what is the best caliber for concealed carry. And just with that statement, the best, I think we, we are setting ourselves up for what we're going to talk about, which is that there is not necessarily one best caliber or one best firearm for concealed carry. It's going to vary depending on the situation you're in and depending on the reason or uh, manner in which you're carrying. So we have a bunch out here. Yep. I mean, certainly 9mm right now is probably the most popular. Um, in terms of just all around carry, but certainly we make and people carry multitude of different things, anywhere from 22 long rifle all the way up to 45s. Um, but a lot of it just it really depends upon your current situation, maybe what you're wearing, what you're carrying, like something like Lakeisha has over here. Right, and I like to be active and outdoors, and when I'm out running, I want something that will be comfortable with me. Now, I can't always go with the larger size um, handgun, but I want something that's going to be comfortable for me it, and it can actually fit in my bag but I would um, go with something of this size so when I'm out there running it's not too heavy and it still has that personal protection that I need um, when I need it so I would definitely go with something that could fit in here and that's comfortable so you have to think about that um, what's comfortable for your situation and what works best for you. Yeah, and so speaking of the situation, you know, if you want something that's real simple, um, that maybe I just want to put my firearm in a holster inside the waistband, pull my shirt over it and go, something small fits that situation. Now, if I was, say, carrying when I travel, I often will carry this firearm here. This is a Glock 45. Um, it has a light in it, so, you know, if I'm traveling, I can carry this in a bag. It's a little bigger. But one of the pros to this is that I can really build a good grip when I carry this gun. So on this pistol, I can get all three fingers, my whole hand on the pistol grip, and I can build a solid grip. If I have a smaller gun like this little Ruger here, the, the downside is that I can only get really two fingers on the grip. Right? Even with the mag, which has a little extension on it, even when that's in there, I still only have those two fingers on the grip. So I'm going to have to be more skilled and be more technical in how I use this firearm. So while it's great to conceal, the flip side is that I have to have a little more expertise with it and put in more work and practice. Right? Yeah, certainly. I mean, practice is key with all of these pistols here, especially ones like that that are maybe a little bit tougher to handle on the recoil. Um, but certainly, you know, situationally, that's a, you're, you're going to want something smaller. You're not going to want to carry this maybe in your waistband, particularly if you're not wearing some heavy clothing or something like that. Um, so that's why we offer a little bit of everything um, because every situation is a little bit different. Right. And, you know, Ben, you just talked about uh, controlling the recoil, and that's something that people a lot of times will think a smaller gun is going to be easier, but point. it's not yeah. necessarily true. So just the weight of this gun is going to kind of soak up or, or be more weight for the gun to displace when it recoils, whereas this little guy, he's going to go flopping all over the place because he's small. And it's just a fact, uh, you know, it's physics, right? Yep. Right. Yeah, find someone with a bunch of pistols. Luckily, we have some good friends here <laughs> that have a lot of pistols. So, you know, find someone practice with their pistol, see what you like, see what feels right, then also see what maybe fits on your person. Um, right. And then that's really how you can make a great decision on maybe what's best for you to carry. Right, and even going to the gun range, you know, it's the best time to try before you buy. So you can get a feel of whatever type of gun, whatever um, caliber you want to try. So that's the perfect time to check it out. Yep, so you know, a commercial range is going to have a lot of options. Usually they'll have rentals and you're going to be able to try different sizes, different types and really understand what fits you. So what someone tells you is the best might be the best for them for that situation but what you need is is what you need so you got to figure that out so if you want to learn about all of our personal defense products that we offer you can go to winchester.com